Angelique Cruz, a former Dr. Phil guest, is calling out the legendary talk show host. In 2013, Angelique shared her story about a friend trying to steal her fetus. Wow. She claims that she went on the show for help, but instead she says that Dr. Phil made the situation worse by victim blaming her. Ooh. Dr. Phil told her, you ignored your instincts. She also goes on to say, my, t my PTSD has suffered more. Many are feeling as if Dr. Phil was being insensitive to her while she was trying to recover from such a traumatic event. Ladies, what are your thoughts on this? What, what if this were you? Oh my gosh, this, this seemed really intense. Yeah. Obviously, I think what she went through is terrible. And to, that whole story about getting her fetus almost like that's just an insane story on its own. And then on top of that, to feel like um, she specifically said that like the people that even worked behind the scenes and just the people at Dr. Phil were like, making the situation worse, Try, trying to, if I'm being honest, it sounds like they were just trying to create an interesting show mm. instead of actually considering this woman's real life and her real feelings. Yeah, which I could see happening. Yeah. And I think that's the issue is that when you go on those type of shows, he's about, from what I know, personal responsibility. Mm. So you have to be aware, you know, and I think we do a good job when we have stories like that, that we really try to understand why are we bringing this person on? You know, it's like, it's something that serious. I don't know if I would even ha have had her on as a guest because it's like, what do you get out of it in the end? I mean, it's like, if you're gonna victim blame her, yeah. that doesn't look good. That And it, it doesn't help her in the long run. And now this is why you have this situation. So I do wanna ask this when it comes to the word victim blame. Like I could see, especially since I have such blunt people in my family, like mm -hmm. my mom, I could see, and I've had times where I said, I had a bad feeling about this person. Like I had a gut feeling that this was right. And then say X, result happened and I got, you know, something yeah. coming to me. She would say, like, if you had that feeling, why didn't you follow it? Yeah. Like, that's an honest thing. And I could see me saying that to a friend, too. Yeah. Maybe it's not something he should have said because they don't have that relationship and it's on a national level where Correct. then people look at her and are Correct. like, you know, but I could see somebody saying that to me and I would actually say it to myself, like, why didn't I follow my gut? You know, so yeah. it's a hard one. It is a hard one, but I also do feel like they were having a conversation. And like anybody else, if you had said that to me, I would be like, Adrian, why did you go yeah. in? Yes. Like, I think it was part of the conversation. I don't know what happened behind the scenes with Same. the other producers. Same. But what I can say is that um, I once saw a, a security expert on one of the morning talk shows, and he talked about how when you have an instinct, you don't follow it. Like if you're about to get in an elevator and somebody's already in it, and something inside of you tells you, don't go in, like don't go in just out of politeness. Yeah. Go, oh my God, I forgot something in my car. Like you can say anything just to get out of it, but follow those instincts. Yeah. And I think for her, where this young lady missed, is that there were so many things inside of her that she wasn't sure she should follow, but she did anyway. I just I know, don't think just it was so appropriate. Sad. You know, I, mean, I don't know what she was trying to get. For tough love. Yeah. No, that's what I said. I, personal I, responsibility. I think. I think she was not prepared for that conversation. And I think yes. they should have been honest with her and, and said, okay, this is what, I mean, because they do pre-interviews yeah. and things like that. So we maybe- We worked on human interest stories yeah. like that. I worked on Maury where we did, you know, you prep you the, the yeah, and I loved, and so a lot of people were like trying to blame conflict TV on this, like this is what conflict TV, and I don't agree. I think there's other people that have done plenty of stories like this and have not had the same outcome, you know what I mean? Yeah, but if if, if, the, if they did a pre-interview and she went in there That's under key. one, yeah. you know, you thought, prepare them. and then you, t you turn around and something else. Th That's unfair. So I don't know, because I, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't okay. there, I don't yeah. know.